conference wins the most at Rutgers since the 05-06 season back in the Big East. And again, they think they can make that even stronger this year. Starting lineup, Caleb McConnell, Miles Johnson, two of the four sophomores back this year. But tonight, their first career starts for Bryant. They played on Tuesday, lost a two-point game to Brown. But Adam Grant is an all-conference player. He scored 21 and the go-to guy for this Bulldogs roster. Rutgers, the 12th Big Ten team to get the 19-20 season underway. And it's the Bulldogs with the ball first. And a new man into the starting lineup, Michael Green, a 5'11 freshman from the Bronx. He is tiny and not much weight on him, but fearless, according to his coach, Jared Grasso. They will move the ball on the perimeter and look to shoot threes. That's Green on the drive. Nice floater over the outstanding arms of Miles Johnson. That's a seven foot ten wingspan. He floated that in. Did you say Green was 5'11"? I'm telling you, I think you could post him up. We tried at practice today. It didn't work well. <laughs> man to man right here. They're going to show some matchup zone as well. McConnell. Got so much better last year as his freshman season went on. Harper alone in the corner. That's off on the extended three-point line, which this year in college basketball is back to the international distance. Well off the mark for Simmons on the three. Harper drives the lane. He's fouled. and will go to the free-throw line. Well, Baker has been the facilitator on this team for several years now, and Gio's going to be handling the ball most of the time for this team. The buzz surrounds Harper Jr. Right there is Gio. Last season, as you mentioned, 12 points, four assists, good rebounder, big guard. A lot of buzz around this guy on the free throw line. His dad, of course, played 15 years in the NBA. He's got five NBA championship rings with the Bulls and the Lakers, Ron Harper. And he lost a bunch of weight and is quicker, and he wants to be a scorer. Down from 245 a year ago, his freshman season, to 230 to start this campaign. Rutgers, he looks better, but, you know, if his hair was a little bit shorter, he might weigh around 214. <laughs> <laughs> he also might lose a couple of inches in the height. <laughs> Full court pressure by Rutgers, the man-to-man -man variety. Now, they need to do this without fouling. Rutgers fouled an awful lot last year. They're trapping and rotating up, trying to get some steals. They want to do all they can to increase the pace of the game this season. Off the curl, there's Grant. Pass blocked. The length for Rutgers was a story last year, and it is again this year. Baker. Back into the corner, and Mathis doesn't shoot it. They pull it back out. Baker pulls the trigger. Off the mark, and that's a foul on the blockout. Paul Elijah picks up his first for Brian. All that for head coach Jared Grosso, his second season at the helm of the Bulldogs. Spent eight years and as assistant with Tim Kluse and Iona. Ten wins last year. We talk about the improvement for Rutgers. They were a three-win team the year he took over, so they are looking to be much better as well. Very good coach. We saw him in uh, practice this afternoon. He got after his guys and told them that this was going to be a physical game and they need to be prepared, and so far, they have shown it. One of the, uh, you know, I got a tour today of the new athletic performance center here at Rutgers. I mean, you talk about a palace, oh my goodness. And one of the signs in the locker room is length is our